episode of Hawaiian Real Life. We are here in the back of Honolulu Gear Works in Kaka'ako. And we're here because um, our friend Aaron Violis is going to be doing a sandwich pop up on September 25th. So let's go see what he's trying to make for that big event. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, Aaron's quite tall, or maybe I'm short, or both. <laughs> anyway. Um, what are we making? What, what kind of sandwiches you get going? Well today what I'm going to make for you guys is the, what I like to call the Cali King. It is basically a twist sandwich form of the California burrito. Oh, okay. So we have our grilled tri-tip, seasoned Santa Maria style, with cumin, coriander, we got some brown sugar and cloves and cinnamon in there. And then we have a little healthy twist on some refried beans. It's a pinto bean hummus oh. with the seasonings just like refried beans. And then we have a charred tomato and jalapeno pico de gallo. And then right here we have our herbed avocado crema. Oh, yeah. That'll be drizzled on top with a little bit of fresh arugula. So go ahead and make that up. We'll yeah. close this okay. on this nice uh, Latour Shibata rolls. Oh, very good. So um, you started, you're, you work here as the kitchen uh, manager? Uh, yeah, I'm the works? nighttime kitchen supervisor at Honolulu Beer Works. And this is going to be your first sandwich pop-up, right? Yes. What, what made you decide to do a sandwich pop-up? Well, these? I've been cooking my whole life uh, since I was a little kid. Um, and I've just always loved sandwiches. They're so versatile. You can take basically any kind of cuisine, international, local, and turn it into a sandwich. And that's, that's, that's exactly what I like to do. It's kind of take my travels and my experiences and kind of turn that into a sandwich. Nice. And um, to attend this pop-up, is it a ticketed event? No, we're actually, um, I'm asking people to email me at witchesbrew, hnl, at gmail.com. And that way I have 50 spots for this first pop-up. And then once those are filled, we'll put you on the list for the next one if we have any opening spots. Okay. So we would like to, I would like to try to do this probably once a month. See, We'll see how it goes. It's kind of like the first trial test. And, uh, See how the crowd reacts. Nice. Get a good and how feel many for sandwiches it. are you going to have on the menu? Uh, on this menu, I'm going to have three sandwiches, and they're all going to be pretty different, but uh, all same price, all eleven dollars. And then I have two sides and a dessert that we'll do for five dollars. Oh, okay, that's pretty reasonable, and it's all beer friendly. Yes. So. Uh, it's not, there's not doing a beer pairing because we just have so many good beers here at Beer, beer Works that uh, we don't want to just make you choose. You, just, right. you can get a flight. And uh, so the sandwiches are just great to have while drinking a beer. And then the desserts are more beer infused. So this time I'm actually doing an Irish car bomb ice cream sandwich. So I made. <laughs> So I made a dark chocolate brioche, and they'll do a stout ice cream with our South Shore Stout, and then a Irish cream custard oh, with nice. a drizzle of miso whiskey caramel. Wow, so that sounds really good. <laughs> so go ahead and start assembling this guy. Now, are sandwiches normally on the Beer Works menu? Yes, we have a nice, you know, little sandwich style. We got the Rubens and we have a nice turkey sandwich we do for lunch so okay. it's very very bar friendly you know eat with your hands all that good stuff and do you guys do takeout actually for the for the pop-up is is it possible to do a takeout like let's say um, have time to if if they want to come and and eat here and take something home i'm all for it okay but uh we're trying to just get everybody to stay have a good time have a little party okay yeah you know, just enjoy sure. the night <laughs> we'll go ahead and layer this guy out there okay so that's the bean hum yeah so this is the pinto bean hummus so it's kind of like refried beans all those delicious flavors of refried beans but without all the lard and all that good stuff oh, but lard. all the flavor <laughs> Still just as flavorful though. <laughs> so go ahead and layer that guy over. Wow, that's... We'll go ahead. And I'm, 
the nice drizzle. Season, so, yes. Um, even more so. It's great to have. Oh. Sometimes. That's how they do it in the kitchen. Sometimes you gotta make the hole bigger. <laughs> we get a nice drizzle of that guy out there. That's just a fresh drizzle. salsa. That looks awesome. It smells. Now awesome. these sandwiches are not your dainty baby sandwiches. You're gonna get messy. That's the whole point. That's why they made napkins. This is probably a three napkin sandwich. Yeah, nice. A nice little bed of arugula on there. Just for some color and some beautiful freshness. Nice. It's very bright. Yeah. And there oh, you have it. Oh, look at that. That is and the Cali voila. King. Okay. I can't wait to try that. Okay. So, if you want to check out um, Honolulu Beer Works, um, follow them on Instagram, well, social media in general, yeah. Honolulu Beer Works. If you want to follow Aaron, he is Witches... Witches Brew HNL. And we'll have the, you see the links right, right there, right? And speaking of links, click the link below and we will be tasting the sandwich and finding more about Aaron and Honolulu Beer Works.